up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 477. In this episode, I'll discuss cefazolin underdosing and the risk of surgical site infection. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 477. There has been a lack of solid outcome data in the literature to support recommendations for weight-based dosing of cefazolin to prevent surgical site infection in orthopedic patients. But recently, researchers evaluated patients in New Zealand's National Prospective Surveillance and Quality Improvement Program database to determine surgical site infection rates by dose of cefazolin used for surgical prophylaxis after either hip or knee arthroplasty. Over 30,000 patients were analyzed. About one third of patients weighing greater than 80 kilos were underdosed, and about three quarters weighing over 120 kilos were underdosed. The odds ratio for surgical site infection was 2.19 in patients who were underdosed, and this was statistically and clinically significant, with a 95% confidence interval between 1.6 and 2.99. This data provides outcome data to support weight-based dosing of cefazolin. Patients undergoing hip or knee arthroplasty with a weight above 80 kilos and those with a weight above 120 kilos should receive cefazolin doses of 2 grams and 3 or more grams, respectively, to prevent surgical site infection. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.